Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and you're watching my uh, side channel, Side Noob. And I saw this on the internet, and I just couldn't help but think I've got to play around with this. I mean, it's, it's like literally got real, I, I guess, locks and stuff on it. Um, so it's a children's toy, costs about uh, twelve pounds, about fifteen US dollars, something like that. And it's by the company Melissa and Doug, not a sponsor. So. Um, Let's have let's have a go. Uh, I don't know how to open it. With too much care, so I'll just try and run a knife gently down there and see if I can. No, too gentle. There we go. Right, that should do it, shouldn't it? And don't worry. Oh, that's noisy. Um, this will go to. A friend's children, uh, mine are too old now for this. So look, we actually have a working key. Can we have a look at that? Wow! Look, oh, it works. And in the back, we got some shopping and a football. Of course. There we go. Um, so that's kind of cool. So obviously, that's like a, a the back of a car. We've got a barn door. It's a shame it doesn't have like a little hole in here. So we have like a padlock on it. Oh, it's a cute little bunny. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. Then we have got. Uh, this which is all zeros. I wonder if you can reset the code. No, it looks like it's a fully sealed uh, unit. Okay, and then here um, we got uh, a slidey thing, uh, a, a combination lock, but it's not a real combination lock, but inside it's a dinosaur and an apple and some books and a dog. It's kind of cute. Okay, so in terms of... <laughs> In terms of decoding, let's have a go at doing some of these decoding. So th this, it clearly, the way that I decode it is just pull up on it until it opens. Uh, a bit of a shame, there isn't any more to it than that. I mean, yeah, it's what it is. This, however, looks more interesting. Um, so I think it's a, so I just wonder if I can feel I know, I know it's all zeros, and I can't change the code, but I'm just wondering whether so that's loose, that's tight, okay. And that's stopped, okay. Oh, it needs to put a lot of force on, that's tight now. And that's stopped. Oh, there you go. So yeah, you can decode it if you could change the code on this, and there must be a way to do that if you were to pry it open. Then the decoding works as you'd expect. You just need to um, pull this back, and you can see this one's very loose. That one's tight, it's, and that one's a bit tighter. So um, you just choose the tightest one, with a lot of pressure on, until you until it sort of stops. Yeah, there. And look, ah, oh, there you go. So yeah, possible to decode that. Now, can we pick this? We should be able to. It's just a, a little um, cabinet lock. So what have I got to pick it with? We'll need a top of the keyway tensioner or something like that. Let's see if this fits. That looks all right. And we need some kind of rake. I'm going to go in with a sparrow's worm on this one and give that a go. Oh, first of all, lock it up. That would help, wouldn't it? Uh, no, that is locked. Yep, yeah, that's fully locked. Open, opening it. Okay, so what's locked? I'm being an idiot, which is uh, pretty usual for me. Okay, here we go. And we have an open. We picked it. I reckon this must be the first time anybody's ever picked a Melissa and Doug children's toy, but it's a real lock and it does have uh, wafers in. How many uh, wafers? Let's have a feel. Five, it's a five wafer lock. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it is. Wow, so there you go. So it's a shame we don't have like a lockable hasp with a little padlock on and another key. That would have been awesome. Um, be nice to be able to change the, the code on this. But again, you can decode it. And it's a shame that isn't a, a real combi lock, but I'll be honest, 
um, for the age of the children, having to like uh, you know do two full clockwise, then back, and then forth, and then uh, it, it's probably too much. But that was a <laughs> that's really good fun. Um, it's nice they actually have a real lock on here as well. Um, well, two real locks actually. That's uh, I like that a lot. Anyway, hope you find that at least funny. If you'd like to give me a like, if you've got any comments, stick a comment below or read them all, reply to as many as I can. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to this side channel and my main channel. Um, it all really helps me out. All right, see you all next time.